Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been creating some buttons, some custom, some regular. Uh, we've got pop-up video buttons and buttons that change color on hover, dual line buttons. Today we're going to create a really simple one. We've got a button there when we hover over it, it's going to grow and have a box shadow. Really easy to do, there's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so I can build on the front end. And let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a section, it's got a, a row in it, the green tab with two columns in it. I'm just going to work right here. And we're going to use one of Divi's inbuilt buttons for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these modules here. Plenty enough to build just about any site. I'm going to put in a simple button right there. As you can see, it's right there. Now, the reason mine are blue and purple here is that's the way I've got it set up in my theme customizer. But you can customize this button any way you want. So obviously, put in whatever it is you want your button to say right there. I'm going to leave mine on click here. Where you want to link your button to, put the the link in the link tab down below. If you're linking to your own site, best practice, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. Okay. Now design wise, I don't want to see the icon on hover. So let's do that. First tab at the top here on the designs alignment, I'm going to pop it in the middle. Text I'm going to leave as it is at the moment. I'm going to go into the button. I'm going to say use custom styles. Now this is where you can set whatever colors it is you want to set. Let's change it just for a bit of fun. So text size is fine. I'll leave that just as it is. Text color is fine. I'm going to leave that as it is. Button background. Well, let's make it purple. And then when we hover over it, let's have it turn blue. So it's the opposite of what it was. So if we go up here to the dark writing, and this is common to most Divi modules, hover over it, these icons will appear. Hit the little arrow. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. And hover is when your mouse is on it. So we can change the colors for those two states. There we go. So when we hover, it's going to be blue. But I want to turn that little icon off too. So if we keep rolling down a little bit, you can add borders. I'm actually going to take a border off of this altogether. If not, just make your borders the same color as your regular and hover backgrounds. So I've rolled down and it's you can see a little switch show button icon. I'm going to switch this to off because I don't want to see the, the icon. If you do leave it on and if you want it to actually show on hover and on regular state, turn this one to off that says only show icon or hover the button. That way you'll see it all the time. But I don't want to see it at all. So I'm going to leave mine off like that. Great. So what do we actually want it to do? Well, when we hover over it, we want to change color and we've done that bit already, but we want to make it grow a little bit and have a box shadow. If we go back to our module here and roll down a bit more, here's box shadow. Now you can choose one of these. I guess I'll choose that one, but I don't want to see it at all there. And unfortunately, if you hover over box shadow, there's no little arrow there to set a hover state and desktop state. But what we can do is actually go down to the color itself. If we hover over there. They've got one. So on desktop, I don't want to see it at all. So I'm going to make it transparent. It should disappear. There it goes. Then when we hover over it, we can set it a color. If we give it black. It's going to be a little too much there, but <laughs> you can certainly see that. But I'm going to take the opacity down so it's not quite as crazy as that. So just click on the color and the right hand slider down here and take it down to where it's looking more like something that you'd like to see. I think that works fine. Okay, so we've got a hover color and we've got a hover state. But when we hover on it, I want it to grow a little bit. To become a little bit bigger, like it's almost popping out and it's got a bit of a shadow. So still on the design tab, we can go down to transform. First one is transform scale, which is grow bigger or smaller. Again, we're going to roll up over the dark legending there. Hit the little arrow. 
desktop state gonna leave that just as it is hover state I'm gonna make it grow but perhaps by about five percent so if we flip between desktop purple no shadow hover it sort of popped out now you can do it the other way around obviously have the shadow on the desktop state and when you click it have it shrink like it's being pushed in but that's entirely up to you just reverse what we've done here if you want to do that now the time it's going to take to switch from desktop to hover state by default 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick it's not bad I'm going to slow mine down just for a bit of drama and to do that just go over to the advanced tab transitions there's the default 300 right there let's make it say 600 just put in a number it'll put the mills for you delay don't want any delay want it to start as soon as the mouse hits it speed curve I'm gonna leave that on ease that seems to work fine for the button at the moment another of my favorites for hover effect is easy in it in fact let's change it let's put it on easy and then ease out they're all slightly different some will work better than others in certain situations but ease in ease out is pretty much my go-to when it comes to hover effects so if we've done everything correctly now this should have the desired effect I'm going to save the page changes let's exit the visual builder go on down there's our button when we hover it's going to grow and that shadows are going to appear like it's popping out towards you very easy effect no coding involved in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a button with an icon and double lines of text and again no coding involved with that one so I hope you've enjoyed this today if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day.